Hi guys and welcome to Honey and Me. I'm Susan and this is my RV Honey. Stay tuned and I'll give you a tour. Honey is a 1992 Itasca Spirit Toyota motorhome. She's made by Winnebago and she is 21 feet long. She has a built-in generator, she has air conditioning, she has a furnace, a fridge, four burner propane cooktop, and everything in her works except, except the air conditioner. We haven't been able to get that to work, so we may end up just taking that out and putting in a fantastic fan. Who knows? But let me show you what I have done in here, and she's pretty much packed up for our trip. So there's things here and there, but this is what she looks like. Starting with the front door, we have the blinds that I made in another video and the Mac Tac type sticky stuff that I put on the window for privacy. Above the cab, there is a bed, which we have had to rebuild because it had a leak up there in the corner that was going through the wall and down onto the bunk platform and it rotted out the whole front of it so we just replaced the whole thing and made it so it does no longer um, have a, a hatch that opens up to get into the cab which is okay because I can still get in and out of there this is the cab she's an automatic she is six cylinder she's very nice to drive and I removed the seat covers that the um, Winnebago people put all over top of the gray vinyl seats and found these wonderful clean vinyl seats underneath but I have covered them with a a gray kind of a, a it, it's vinyl but it's it fits really nicely I got them on Amazon anyway it matches the gray interior of the vehicle so I didn't have to do anything to change the interior up front except put new seat covers on so back up to the bunk, I had a mattress cut to size and put a cover on it, which was not an expensive thing to do. I just went to a phone shop and that was really easy. We're going to be taking out that front window because I don't like it. It's cracked. It has leaked and I just think it's kind of useless. So we're getting rid of that probably this summer. I have added a couple of little storage things up here. That's a command strip little basket and there's a little galvanized metal letter holder thing there for books and things and phones and whatever. She has a vent above. Above the sofa bed there is two cupboards and a speaker and then above the kitchen there is two more cupboards. Here is she has a double sink I added these gray stick-on subway type tiles to her when I first bought her a year ago and they're okay I got them at Home Depot they're I like the way they look and everything but they do tend to come up at the corners so you have to I keep a, a can of spray glue in the RV just to catch those little corners when they come up I covered the control panel for the RV with this little sign. These are magnets here and then there's a magnet on the back of the little sign picture whatever and there's my level test things. Water pump, but there's no water in the pump or in the tank. That's covering up where the clock used to be. It has a, a you can see back here there's actually a, a place that the clock fit, it, fit into the wall there so I needed something to cover that. There is lots of room in the cupboards for tall things and this one's a little shorter I replaced the original faucet with a nice new gooseneck one I attached a spice rack to the wall it's um you can see out there it's screwed in with with screws and I have a 
cutting board top for my cooktop. I take the burners off when I'm traveling because they rattle. And there is the cooktop. I spray painted it with black barbecue paint and it hasn't worked very well. I'm, I'm going to have to do something else, but you can see where it's been coming up where the burners actually sit on top of the paint. So we're going to try something different with that at some point. I took out the original Quasar microwave and I added a toaster oven that only works when I'm plugged into shore power or have the generator on. It works quite well. There is a cupboard underneath where I keep pots and pans. Here is the furnace, which I spray painted the cover of so it's not brown anymore. It has two drawers and an under sink cupboard, which is full of stuff. And then if you watch my video on recovering the sofa, I replaced the jackknife sofa with a two-piece um, foam cushion thing and the back just comes off and I put that on the table and then it, it's a bed. I also have, you can see up there, my because my daughter's coming with me, I wanted to make sure she had a comfy bed and I bought a twin size memory foam to put on top of the foamy so it makes it nice and cushy for her. And also I covered the base of the sofa with gray um, vinyl flooring and over here we have the dinette which I've recovered twice <laughs> because I did it once with this gray denim and didn't like it so that also makes into a bed underneath there I keep my cat and dog food Above the dinette, there is two cabinets. And you can see, I used a gray wallpaper that I got from Home Depot to fill in the spaces, the recessed spaces, on the cabinets. As well as on the refrigerator door which has two drawers underneath it. I added this little decorative white shelf. These are fake plants from Ikea. And I had to use fake plants because when I cross the border, you can't take live plants with you. So they can't take these away from me. In the bathroom, I also added some of the decorative The vinyl stick-on tiles. I would like to paint the sink at some point and it has a cabinet above the, the sink that has lots of room in it for stuff. I have a shower. I'm not planning on using the shower very often. I have an outdoor shower, so I can shower outside. Um, but I keep things like there's the cat's litter box, which is a corner fitting one. And above that I have the laundry hamper, which is attached to the wall. And there's our chairs and the floor mat and our extra water, things like that. Good place to store stuff. And also, in the bathroom, it has a nice big closet with a long mirror. And there's lots of room in here for storage. It goes all the way around the corner there, and I've got hooks on the wall because the, the rack for hanging clothing only goes so far, and then there's a lot of space back there. I actually attached one of these little um, stick-on lights. So you can see back here, there is lots of storage back there that was kind of wasted. So I have command hooks on the wall. That's what the wallpaper in the RV used to look like. Isn't that lovely? Anyway, so that's about it. I have painted the entire RV. Uh, it's a gray tinted white. 
Um, it already had wood flooring in it, and it's real wood flooring, not laminate, which is kind of nice. Um, there's also storage under the benches. I keep all of my outdoor gear, like backpacks and frisbees and, uh, oh, and my little buddy heater is in there in case I need that underneath there. And in the one under this, this um, seat, which is accessible from behind it, I keep all the tools. I have my generator in there. There is also a generator built into Honey, which is underneath the couch here but it's very noisy. It, if I only need to run it for a few minutes, I'll use that one. And you can turn it on from inside, which is nice. And it runs on gas from the gas tank, from the actual engine. Um, my battery charges while my engine is running, which is nice. But when I'm boondocking and I want to be able to um, bake something in the oven or charge things up, uh, I have another uh, Yamaha uh, 2000 something or other generator you know, in there that it fits just nicely in there and that keeps any possibility of somebody stealing it off the back of my RV um, away so I will only use that when I when I need to pull it out and that it pretty much wraps up I mean she's only 21 feet long she's not very big but she is big enough for me and the animals and for Another person for sure. I have um, done trips in her in with my sister and with the animals and I've taken my grandkids camping overnight and it's worked out really really well. Um, you can see up here that's where the little hooks above the door there that's where I made the projector screen to hang and we can watch movies. It also has a A roll out or a pocket door for the bathroom. So that is also done in that gray wallpaper on both sides. And yeah, I think that about wraps up the tour of Honey because she's just not very big.